come back to another session with your Vashav at Vareva.com. Today, I'm going to show you one of my college favorite dish that is eating out, egg puffs. You know, when you go out, you need to drink a soft drink and then enjoy egg puff. Now, I don't drink soft drink, but I still love egg puffs. So, to make egg puff, first we need to learn how to make puff dough. So, I'm going to quickly show you how to make the puff dough. Then, I'm going to show you how to roll the sheet and make egg puffs. Here, I've got around 250 grams of all-purpose flour. In this flour, we're going to add 5 grams of salt and 10 grams of sugar. Here is 130 ml of water. In this, we're going to squeeze in a little bit of lime juice. Now, we're going to mix this in the flour and make this into a dough. It is going to be, you know, medium stiff dough. Now, the dough is soft and just rest it for a few minutes. After that, take 15 or 20 grams of uh, butter and then knead this into the dough. Now, when the dough is ready, just put a clean wrap or something. Now, just sprinkle some flour. We are going to roll this into thin sheet. Okay? You know, very easy. Just uh, tap it on the sides and just make it into a nice rectangle shape. Take this butter, divide them into three portions and put one portion in one half of the uh, dough. Very evenly, very thin layer I have spread. Take some flour and sprinkle a very thin layer. Okay, not this much, even thin. Just sprinkle. Okay, now we have the mark. Just fold this like this. Okay, just make sure, stretch it little bit and put this till the edge. And the second fold, the same thing. Put it like this, just make sure, pull it a little bit stretch and then do it like this. You know, take a tray and sprinkle a little bit flour. Now, very carefully lift the sheet and put it on the tray. Now, take a cloth and just cover it. If the cloth is slightly wet, that is good. Now, we are going to put this dough in the fridge for at least 20 minutes till the dough is slightly cooled. After resting for 15 minutes, just take the dough. The dough will be a little bit, you know, harder now. Just, uh, of course, the same old story. We are going to sprinkle a lot more flour onto the table. This time, we are going to roll it this way. Stretch it and roll it. Now, take the butter, the second portion of the butter. Again, just draw an imaginary line and spread this butter evenly onto the sheet. Sprinkle the flour and we are going to do again the envelope fold. Just stretch the dough a little bit and just make sure it is covered. Now, from this side, we are going to pull it, stretch it and do it. Now, we are done. Just Make sure you sprinkle the flour and just put this sheet in the tray, then cover it with a cloth and once again, we are going to put in the fridge for around 15 minutes and we are going to use the last portion of the butter same way we did it now. For the third time, just take the sheet, let us sprinkle the flour, just roll the sheet into a nice rectangle. For the third time, we are going to add the butter, now do not worry. No three portions, we are going to spread this evenly, but always remember this dough has to be cold, that is when the butter will be you know spread like this, otherwise it will start melting and you will not get a uh, nice puff sheet. Okay? Just let us say this is the center part, just sprinkle the flour. See this flour also will help forming nice layers. Now just fold it half like this and this side also fold it like this. Okay? This is the book fold. Sprinkle some more flour. Okay? Not much though. Okay? Then here your puff sheet is all ready. Now, we are going to put this back on the tray and then we are going to put in the refrigerator and we can use it whenever you want. Now, look at the sheet. Once you cut the sheet, you will see thin layers of butter. That is when your egg puff will nicely puff up. So, to roll this, we are going to use little extra flour and uh, sprinkle little extra. Now, we are going to roll this into a square shape and then I am going to show you how to make the egg puffs. Now, look at this sheet, it is uh, in shared square. Now, 
just we are going to cut it in the center. After cutting it lengthwise, we are going to cut it uh, into little bit squares. Now, you do not need any spices in this. This is going to be very tasty just by adding little pepper and salt. Now, we are going to add little bit pepper in the center along with little bit of salt. Not much, just sprinkle little bit of salt. Now, bring the edges together and seal it like this. What will happen? Now, these parts will puff up and the egg will get stuck inside. Now, you know after making the egg puffs, if you are left with any strips, just fold it like this and you have your bow tie cookie. It is as simple as that. Now, look at them. We made little fancy shapes. You can make it to any shape. You can make them rounds. You can make them into, you know, uh, any shape you want. Sometimes they fold it all through. But I want the egg to be seen when it is done. The texture on the white of the egg gets really nice. So now you can, uh, you know, give milk wash for this so that it look good. Only the edges at least. You know, if you want, you can also give water wash. Even that will work. Now you have to bake it at 220 degrees centigrade for around 20 minutes. That's when this will puff up and come out good. Now, look at this. You can make these at home so easily. And very, very flavorful, tasty. We made them with butter. Now, time to taste. Ah, ah, ah. Oh. Mm. Mm. Wow. Only when you bite on the egg with little pepper salt, it is even more tastier. This is just too good. Dear friends, look at this. You can make this at home. Try it. Once you try it, you will always make it at home. So, see you in another session.